Okay, so this is sort of an announcement video, I guess. Um, so last week I announced, uh, I, well, again, let's put it in perspective. So if you want a custom-built, um, terminal-based, highly extensible email workflow, um, it you have to do a whole, there has to be a whole bunch of working pieces to come together to make everything work just perfect. And that one of the most annoying parts for me when I was configuring my system is getting a perfect email system all worked out. And uh, it annoyed me so much that I d have decided to automate the process because I get a lot of people asking me about how to do this or that. Um, so as I said before last week, um, I now have a script and it's basically done. You should look at it now. You should download it and you know uh, get it working with your email accounts. But I have a script that will now automatically configure and generate uh, MUT and offline IMAP uh, configuration script or RC files and all the stuff you need to get a terminal-based um, you know email set up with offline repositories so you can look at your mail offline with secure passwords and all the stuff that you really want. Um, so I honestly, I could go and explain how this thing works. I sort of went into that in the last video, but I think I'll just say that all you have to do is open up the menu and all the options are there and it should really just work and you don't really have to know about the specifics. Um, just to show, to tell you the features, um, so of course you can add email, uh, you can add multiple different accounts, all of them are configured automatically, um, it saves your passwords safely, uh, it'll automatically decrypt them when you are uh, loading your mail or whatever, uh, downloading mail, uh, sending mail, whatever you need. Um, so. I'll go ahead and say the prerequisites if you want to install this thing. Um, all you need is dialog because that's the, the menu thing. Uh, you need Neomut and offline IMAP and you should be fine. Um, the only other thing you need is a GPG private uh, key pair or public private key pair. Um, and I actually just put up a video. If you don't know how to do that, I just put up a video of, you know, just uh, telling you how to do it. It's a basic process. process. But um, all you need is just that and then uh, the idea, the repository, you can just clone it into your config mutt folder and just run the script and follow the directions, basically. Um, all you do is add an account. Uh, you just give it basically your email address. It'll look up your IMAP and SMTP servers in basically a, a, uh, uh, a list of all the servers that I've found so far. Um, if it doesn't find them, it'll just prompt you for them and you can put them in. You can look them up at your email provider. It's pretty simple. Um, then you can just start running offline IMAP. And once you do that, offline IMAP is going to download your directory, like what your the email directory looks like. Uh, and the third part is once that starts, you can just go back into the script, tell it to auto detect the mailboxes, uh, and then it'll be done. Uh, basically, once it does that, all the moving pieces are together. It's that's all you have to do. So, what exactly do you get from this? Um, so, you automatic you, again. You have automatic configs for MUT, which of course is going to be the actual email client, and offline IMAP, which is the program that of course downloads mail offline, so you can access all your mail without internet connection after you do that. Um, it'll automatically encrypt the passwords. You don't have to worry about, you know, someone getting to your stuff in plain texts. Um, and it also gives you a whole bunch of shortcuts um, just to make things a whole lot easier because sometimes if you have multiple accounts, you can add multiple accounts with the script and sometimes it's a little difficult um, in MUT, you know, figuring out, oh, I have all these different accounts, how do I jump between them? Uh, so basically what I did is um, every time you add an account, it just, add, you know, you have X many accounts. You To switch from account to account, you just, you know, type in like I1 goes to your first account i5 goes to your fifth account, whatever. Um, you can go to, you know, inbox with GI, sent mail with GS, you know, stuff like that. It depends on, not every email repository is gonna have all, you know, not all, all of them might have an archive or whatever, but if it does have one, it'll auto detect it. Um, so it has all this stuff. And I also, I, I do have um, some of my own configure, it's basically my own MUT configuration. So it has some of my custom shortcuts to make things a little bit more Vim-like. 
Um, and that's just because I'm going to be using this in LARBs. I'm going to have this um, automatically download with it. Um, just so I have, you know, it's, you know, a LARBs for those if, who might have stumbled on this video if you don't know my channel. It's just my um, auto configuration script for uh, Arch Linux. Um, so I wanted a system that can pretty easily generate configs for the email as well. So this is just part of that. Um, so as I said, it works. I've tried it with a bunch of different email providers and other people have tried it with other ones. Um, if you uh, if it prompts you for your IMAP and SMTP servers, uh, that means it's not in the, or where is it? Um, it's not in the CSV file where I list a bunch of the domains. Um, so you can feel free to add it. You can feel free to push a, a fix to it, adding your stuff in there, uh, just so other people won't have to add it in manually. Because if it's in that file, it'll automatically put it there. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so this video is really just, uh, sorry for the rambling, but uh, I'm really just telling you go try this thing out because uh, MUD is a very rewarding program to use and offline IMAP is a fantastic addendum to it. Um, and it's something that is pretty difficult to get into, but hopefully the script makes it extremely easy. Uh, so I encourage you all to go look at it right now because it's definitely usable. Uh, I use it, I now use it with all my accounts. I literally deleted my old setup because it's so easy just to use this. I, I mean, it takes like 10 seconds to configure an email account. It's fantastic. Um, so anyway, uh, thanks. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, uh, yeah, anyway, um, I'll see you guys next time, I guess.